A guide to thickening soups and stews. Some soups and stews require just the right consistency to create the perfect flavor and fortunately there are a few simple ways of achieving this. Corn starch, pureed vegetables, and roux are among the most commonly used ingredients for thickening soups and stews. Each has their own distinct benefits and works to thicken soups in different ways. Corn starch, for example, is often added to small amounts of liquid such as cold water, chicken stock, or white wine and whisk together and added to the soup, which is then simmered and allowed to thicken. For more flavor, vegetables like mashed potatoes are ideal for thickening soups. Leftover rice is another simple ingredient that will add bulk to soups and stews. Vegetables and meats can be pureed together or processed together in the blender and then added to a variety of soups. Perhaps the most often relied upon substance for thickening soups is none other than root. The classic thickener made from a combination of flour and fats. Flour is often used all by itself for thickening soups as sprinkling just a tablespoon or so of it on top of soups and then stirring while simmering is enough to achieve the desired consistency. Flour roux added to creamy soups that contain bits of cheese can help prevent the cheese from breaking down or separating and clumping together. However, if even more flavor or thickness is needed for soups and especially stews, Make a roux from clarified butter or oil and flour that are blended together in a saucepan until browned. Roux can be nearly all white in color or a deep, dark chocolate brown color. Creamy pork chops in the crock pot recipe What you need 4 tablespoons olive oil for boneless pork chops 2 teaspoons garlic salt 2 teaspoons oregano 2 teaspoons Italian seasoning Non-stick cooking spray 2 cups apple juice 2 cups cola 4 tenths Ounce canned cream of mushroom soup 1 teaspoon month re all chicken seasoning how to make it in a large skillet. Add the olive oil and heat over medium high heat for a minute or two. Sprinkle half of each of the garlic salt, oregano, and Italian seasoning evenly over the four pork chops and then add to the skillet with the seasoned sides down. Add the remaining seasonings to the other side of the pork chops while cooking for about three minutes per side to brown completely. Remove the pork chops from the heat and set aside. Spray the inside of the crock pot with non-stick cooking spray and then pour in the apple juice and cola. Add in the browned pork chops to the liquid followed by the four cans of cream of mushroom soup. Do not stir the soup mixture. Sprinkle a Montre all chicken seasoning over the mixture and cook on the low setting for 8 hours with the lid in place. After the cooking time is over. Stir the creamy pork chops well to break apart the meat and a guide to thickening soups and stews. Some soups and stews require just the right consistency to create the perfect flavor and fortunately there are a few simple ways of achieving this. Corn starch, pureed vegetables, and roux are among the most commonly used ingredients for thickening soups and stews. Each has their own distinct.